about that? In mm. the meantime, the job market in our state is getting better, but high paying gigs are still hard to come by. Yeah, and that's still a big concern for many local college seniors, especially with graduation ceremonies just days away now. Mm -hmm. But there are some bright spots. And our own bright spot, Tessa Spencer, is digging for details for us all new this morning. Good morning, Tessa. Hey, good morning, John and Laura. You know, by now, those in the graduating class of 2012 should be lining up job prospects. But while the job market is still not the best, it's better than it's been in recent years. CareerBuilder surveyed more than 2,000 hiring managers across various industries. 54% said they plan to hire recent college grads this year, up from 46% last year. I think it's trending in the right direction. We certainly see demand up across categories, but there's a lot of people out there looking for jobs, and so you know it's probably going to take a little bit longer to land a position. The employer surveyed said the areas where they're most likely to recruit new grads include information technology, customer service, sales, finance and accounting, and marketing. And college grads shouldn't underestimate the value of their social networking skills. About one in ten employers said they'd consider maintaining a blog or other platform as relevant experience. Building profiles online, um, writing a blog on, you know, whether it's something that's a personal blog or maybe it's commenting on a particular industry or topic, those are all things that will work in your favor. Now, as far as starting salaries go, the survey indicates the majority of offers will come in under $50,000. And that's something that seniors at Charleston Southern University can stick under their graduation caps. Their commencement ceremony is scheduled for Saturday, May 5th at the North Charleston Coliseum. CFC students will graduate a week later, Saturday, May 12th. For ABC News 4, I'm Tessa Spencer. John? All right. Thank you so much, Tessa.